This is rare, man. I love this. It's the salmon skin. Now I have, this side has actual like ginger on it and I'm gonna put a little wasabi on it and I'm gonna eat the other ones like plain, okay? But this is so delicious. It's so hard to find. I find this hard to find in, in it anywhere. It's crispy. So crunchy. Mm. So we're at 11 plates. I got two more coming. Oh, oh, 12. Now when we hit 15, we get a prize to come out of the roll and Allison hopefully Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Summer of 2018 here in Texas. What is this image? It's something we won from Dave and Buster's. It's near sunset now. And there's the sun. It's setting. Check this out. This is mine. The sand sculpture. Here in central Texas. It's different every time. Chaos and order, constant chaos. Magnetic sand timer. All winning from Dave and Buster's. Look at that. Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. It's June now here in Austin, Texas of 2018. And once again, welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Today we're going to share with you uh, to all the family at Candid Travels Texas and the family at ATX ITAC a tactical tip and to begin that remember to keep in mind the difference between knowledge and wisdom wisdom would be the uh, Knowledge of knowing how, well, here's the thing. What is knowledge and what is wisdom? Knowledge would be, let's say, an individual knowing how to clean a windshield. Is there a thief in here? I might have to kill somebody. Nope. We're okay. 
and the wisdom would be actually going and cleaning the windshield. So there you go. Knowledge is knowing how to clean a windshield and wisdom would be doing it and actually cleaning the windshield. There's Lucy, next door doggy. She's waiting to go inside. It's now sunset. Listen to the beautiful Texas cicadas. I know I'm in Texas when I hear that sound. Makes me happy. There's our little memorial to Bella, the movie dog. There she is. She lived out here. If you remember, go back and watch our episodes here in Texas, where the Australian walkabout grill is. It's where she used to live. We had her igloo house here when she lived here. And that's in memory of her. Now we put that in memory of Lucy, our little rabbit, who lived the rest of her life here with us. She was a rescue. Nobody wanted her. She passed away here. She had her own space back here for a while. And we actually kept her living space here in memory of her. And we're letting the bamboo grow up around here. And also, this is the spot that Lucy used to lay in, right here on that spot. And after she died, this is where she passed away, Two big bamboo grew up right here, just by itself. We didn't uh, plant anything or anything like that. It just grew. Look at that. The two big, strong, tall bamboo just grew right, right there. And this is kind of nice because if people are trying to come in through the back or they want to hop the fence, they'll land in this. So there you go. We may have to uh, notch the... Uh, roof of the garage there is starting to in the winter when the, the leaves go away then the the, the, the tr this trunk actually lifts a little bit off but i've got to keep an eye on this see what's going on all right so with that being said let me share with you the next can the actual uh tactical tip of chess okay playing every day can be the Independence Day or the 4th of July. Every day can be the 4th of July, just like every day can be Christmas. Hey, so welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. So today for the uh, tactical tip that I'm going to be sharing with you all is the chess tactic. It's a, a suggestion. Um, I know it seems pretty simple. Uh, chess is a really great game that can actually help um, with neuroscience advantages. And like earlier when I was showing you around outside uh, here in uh, July, actually it's July of 2018 now, July, yeah, uh, that um, there's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing how to clean a window. Wisdom is doing it. So with that in mind, the chess tactic is actually play chess. Um, if you don't know how to play chess, try to learn it. You don't have to, but it's a great game to, um, it, it creates understanding uh, of, of, of strategy and it can also help you to understand time-space continuum. And so when, when you have an, a timeless mind, then you have an ageless body, right? And I'm going to say this again. Uh, Dr. John Martini is one who remind me of it. And that is uh, Freeman Dyson, uh, who also Albert Einstein, a lot of other scientists have, have, have agreed to this 
this, this reality truth is that there is nothing but love. All else is illusion. And in order to understand that, you have to, you have to go beyond the time-space continuum. Now, what is love? Love, and as um, Dr. John D. Martini, also from Houston, Texas, he's from the same part of, uh, of Texas that I grew up in as an elementary school kid and, and all that, and uh, high school, and, and is that love is actually not an emotion. If you have elation, everything's so awesome, it's so awesome, you feel it up here, up here, up here. Then you feel like a piece of crap down here, a delation or suffering. Neither one is love. The reality is if you're suffering at some moment, there is also something good in that. And when there's, uh, you're having an elation and everything feels great, there's always something also not good. So love is a combination of both, okay? And when we only see the good in somebody or we only see the bad in somebody, we're ignoring the other half, which the English word ignorance, ignorance, right? So anyway, playing chess is a great tactic to um, help your brain understand uh, strategy. It, it, it works your brain. It's like a muscle. Your, your brain's a muscle, right? So the more you play chess, the more fun it is. And my experience of that, my biased experience of that, when I, I've been playing chess since, since the 1970s, man, since I was little. And uh, it's so much fun anytime I play, but it results in a timeless mind and an ageless body. So back in the 70s, when I was in elementary school, um, like almost 50 years ago almost, huh? Uh, well, 40 years, I was like, okay. So anyway, um, yeah, when I was like in third grade or whatever, uh, something like this would cost a lot of money. So here's the problem with chess. You can't really, it's no fun playing by yourself. You could play both sides. But back in the 70s, we had like this type of a electronic chess where a comp you play against a computer, okay? And in those days, I mean, this was like high tech. This thing right here was seriously high tech here. Check this out. So like chess master, right? Or voice masters. Now back then there was no uh, voice, artificial voice simulation. But uh, this thing here cost only uh, $39.95. So you just look online for it or go to a store. And Toys R Us is going broke now because Amazon, I even buy it. I like Amazon, actually. It's very convenient. And so, so basically what I do is, for this type of machine is it's my move. You see where it's, it says white. It's a white block there. That means white. I'm, I'm, I'm white, right? And so black is a computer. So I got to... Uh, he's already captured that many, so the computer's beating me right now, and I've captured that many people. So, basically, I would highly recommend chess, because each piece has a different way of moving. And so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to uh, make a move, right? So I'm going to go bam, bam. So you, you push the, the thing that it comes where you're going from to where you're going. And then there's magnets under here. So if I tend to tilt, if I tilt this board, guess what? The pieces stay. That's kind of cool. So now I'm looking at here. This is the response. The black side wants to move E5. So look for E5. Where's E5? That's the pawn. This pawn right here says E5. Wants to move to E4. So it's moving the pawn one forward be careful. oh it says be careful why obviously because the pawn can capture my knight i am threatening Pistol. to win material worth two pawns so a uh, knight is worth two pawns and then help why my pawn on e4 could take your knight on f3 okay well i already knew that so all i gotta do is i will move my knight here, bam. Oops. Okay, so I push escape. 
once he's done talking. I've got to remember. So that's, I just learn in this stuff. So what I do is I'll move my knight here. Now the queen can take me, but if the queen takes me, bam, I'll take her. Bam. So do you see that? Now, black is thinking. The computer's thinking. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, it's called a chess tactic. Now the best is if you, if you have a friend that's with you all the time, you always, you can play. Um, but to have a computer, like electronic chess there right there is actually pretty cool. Now you can also play on your Wii, on your, uh, you know, on your phone. I'm sure there's, there's ways of playing. That's fine too. Whatever you're comfortable with. I per, I'm old. <laughs> I'm from, from an ancient time. I like feeling an actual piece in my hand, you know, and I like having the feel of the of, of the board but they're not expensive anymore i mean I, in the 70s man late 70s something like this costs like a, a lot of money i'm thinking like hundred dollars or so now over a hundred now it's 39.95 all right so let's see where we're going or maybe nowhere and if not adios amigo all right we are in the middle of july here in Central Texas, <laughs> 2018, middle of July. And it's about what time? 2.30. We're late, as always. But you know what? You're never late, you're never early, you're just on time, right? That's what they say, right? Okay. We're gonna head out to, uh, I don't know where we're going. Allison, we're gonna try to park in the new parking center for the new, what, Austin Public Library? Yes. All right. We've never been there before. Maybe we'll go there. And then we'll see what surprises may be there. Okay? Here we go. Across the bridge now soon, all right? This is uh, middle of July. It's July, f what, 14? Wow. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, 2018, we're on First Street, driving down, going across close to, uh, we're going to go downtown Austin. I haven't been down there in the sun for a while. Canada Travels, Texas. This is what it looks like. Middle of July of 2000. Now look on the list side. Oh, there are people on the water. Maybe we'll go later. area here for the Austin Public Library downtown. I gotta find parking now. I have no idea where I'm supposed to park. This is safe. So this is the Austin Public Library. That's the back of the library sign. Can you read backwards? Put that up. I'll do a mirror. <laughs> All right, hopefully I'm gonna turn. Can I turn right? Here we go, I'm turning right, I'm turning right. This is, doesn't say no right on red, does it? No. They okay, here's, here's the library, library sign. Okay, okay. Let's look for, it says it's eight foot two, but it's the first time we've been down here. I like to do the sidestep. Hey, guess what, we made it. We found this place here in the new garage. I've never parked here before. It's actually not quite that hot because we're underground right now. Ooh. Hey, let's look at Allison. I'm not, okay, you're not walking up. I'm not filming you walking up. Okay, you tell me that. Here, take it back. Okay. <laughs> Film me walking up. Come on. By the way, the hat I'm wearing is uh, Justin Scard. Him and his fiance Allie are from California, and I like their work. It's called. Justin Scarred Random Land. And uh, he's tall and she's short, kind of like my alley, my Allison, okay? Here in Texas. This is the Central Library. I feel lots of air conditioning right now. What's this, DVDs and Blu-rays? Okay, book drop, special event center. Here we go, we're going up the stairs. All right. Uh-oh, I'm not filming you going up the stairs. Do you want me to film you up the stairs? Yes or no? Here. There you go. So, this is what it looks like right now. Interesting. Hey, look. Look at this woman. She's a two-dimensional hologram. Not into the library yet, but we've got a car repair manual advertisement. It's 94 degree Fahrenheit, and it is 
Okay, so we might come back in here, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like going to the public library, the big one in downtown Austin. But we're gonna go outside. I heard my big brother, Paul Klemper, PK Sachs, is gonna be playing for the first time in the daytime. He usually plays at night. He's gonna be performing his amazing jazz band at 2.30, but it's three o'clock, so he may be done by now. So we're gonna go look. He said it's around here. Outside the public library. Where is it called? Place? The C by the Sea Home. By the what? Lofts. Sea Home. Sea Home Lofts. What is that? It used to be the power plant and then they made it into lofts. Is that it? Yes, it's over there. Which somewhere, building right here? No, somewhere around here, I don't know. Okay, alright, let's walk the Cobra has found Sea Home. <laughs> City of Austin. Power plant. The power plant is now a residence hall. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, we're going to walk around and see what's up around Hi here. Me. There's the Austin Duck Adventures, which is an import from California, just like Allison, who's filming me right now. They did this in Austin uh, recently. And look, look right there. No, 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 no. Just like in Hollywood, California. They have these. Now they don't have the tour buses there. They're here now. Ooh, I like to do the sidestep. See home shops and restaurants. Maybe Paul's playing. Power the Cobra. Power the Cobra. All right. Hey, guys. By the way, ATX ITAC is way beyond roundtable medical consultants. We do medical consultation and even more. We're full service consulting firm. Ha, 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 ha. Everything. But check this out. This smells so plasticky. We're on AstroTurf here in Texas where AstroTurf was created by NASA. Originally in the old Astrodome, which is now destroyed <laughs> by, by refugees. Look it up, you'll see the history of that. The Astrodome's in Houston. Now we're in the middle of downtown Austin. Look at Allison, ooh, she's got her NASA hat on. I got my Power of the Cobra hat on. Baked Bear, Optique, Ruiz, Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, this is another import from California, just like this one. Ooh, I like to do the side step. Okay, look at that, straight up. We have, here's the old power plant. So nobody lives here now. Can you imagine living in a power plant? That's what we've done. We've converted the power plant into something like this. All right. True food kitchen. All right, you know what? I don't think my big brother is playing or we're just way too late. Like I said, I don't know what we're gonna go. Maybe he kept his promise to never play in the daytime here in Austin. Reuse garden, Earth Day, hey. More California import culture. Well, no, we've always been recycling since I was little here in Texas, all right? We, we actually are really big on that. There's Healthy Pet. Thunder Armor. Oh, uh, that's not right. That's not right. It's Under Armor, not Thunder Armor. Not Thunder from Down Under. You know, they asked me to be in that show, Thunder from Down Under. Did you know that? No. Well, I th it's private because I'm the governor of California. I cannot do. A girly. All right, here's Sea Home Residence Office. I might ask to see if my That's big brother. I said I know where we're going today, okay? Because uh, here's the reality: we went into Sea Home Residences. The two young ladies. One of them is actually from the where? California. Where part? The Bay Area. Bay Area, just like this one. So that's why we see all these Californian type things here in Austin, Texas, and uh, they found nothing on a line about the Sea Home Residences and music here. Uh, I don't see any setup. I'm an entertainer as well as a doctor, of course, and I don't see any signs of a stage setup or anything in the area. And he said 2.30. Did they say 2.30 or 2? I think uh, it was 2. I'm pretty sure it said 2.30. 2 .30. Well, in entertainment, you get there early. If they say 2.30, you gotta be there at 2. But uh, I don't see anybody here. Look at that power plant. I think they think it's cool, so they're not tearing it down or anything. You're also a power plant. I can't tell, but when I think about the word power, I just talk like this. 
That's right. That's right. We're at the power plant with little colorful chairs. That's right. There we are. Oh, ah, ah, more building. Ah, ah, ah. Look at this tube. Oh. All right, Allison just said something that's inspiring. Go ahead, say it. What'd oh, you I say? said it looks like it might rain. So maybe say it again. Maybe it, say was, again. maybe it was canceled. <laughs> okay. First of all, welcome to Texas, where the if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it'll change. All right. It does kind of look like it's gonna rain. But let me tell you, I'm a native Texan. It ain't gonna rain. <laughs> she just, she's from California. So in California, you see this kind of weather, it's gonna rain. It doesn't mean it's gonna rain here. Welcome to Texas, here at Canada Travels Texas. Thanks for joining. Okay, so mission to find Paul, not accomplished. So we're just gonna go in the public library, okay? <laughs> and see, actually go inside. This is the reason why we came to the public library. You ready? Water, agua, the stuff of life. No. Free Foundation. Mayor's Book Club. Exit flight narrative and the refugee experience. Yeah, the refugee experience. I wonder if they included Californians and Louisianans here. <laughs> the refugees from California recently and during hurricanes uh, in 2008, around then, we, we, we got a, a bunch of new Texans from Louisiana and those are the people that were in the, the Astrodome. Look that up on the history. So here's some other groups of people. Missouri, these are refugees. Oh yeah, Afghanistan. I was part of Operation Enduring Freedom. At one point I helped out. So she is blah, 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 it says. Uh, born in Afghanistan, ran under prejudice in Iran. Doesn't accept me because I was raised in Iran. Interesting, yeah? Interesting. Here's a Aya, who is 16. Interesting. I gotta get my driver's license. I'm gonna drive to the top of a big hill in Austin and look at the view of the whole city. That would be, uh, Mount Benel, girl. There she is. So, who is this? From Myanmar. Grace from Myanmar is 37. Very interesting. Uganda, age nine. His name is, his nickname is Lou. His name is Jasmine from Bosnia. And this is Azhar from Iraq. Hello. Hello, hello Iraqi girl who is now probably, she might be a Texan, we'll see. We have a lot of Texans from everywhere, don't we? Here we go, Tesfe, 60 years old, Eritrea. Masoka, all right, 99% of them must really be hard workers. Okay, hello, you're one of them, they didn't include you in Person. It's Donnie from 52 year old from Nipple. No, Nepal. Nipple. Nip, Nip, well, actually, it's pronounced that way, I think. Nipple. Nepal. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I don't Nepal. know. Nip. No, in their language. Oh. We say Nepal, I think, so it won't sound like Nipple. This is the area. We're walking through the gates. I'll check here is the checkout stand and this is how big the library is you look stuff up here Whoa. Hey, this is pretty big wow look at the stairs look at the big clock wow that's pretty cool pretty cool huh so I guess Austin is like a mini, mini LA. This, re this reminds me of a mini version of the Los Angeles Central Library, multi-level. Nothing, obviously, it's, we're still a pretty small city. Comparatively, it's kind of interesting. Here we go, there's Allison. This looks like the stairway. It looks like, it, it looks like it's floating. Yeah, it, it looks like the stairway from the movie Inception. Leo and Joey. Here we are, an Ellen Page 
Doesn't it look like that? Look, it looks like Escher's drawing. Do you look? From this point, it looks like Escher's. Wow. I feel like I'm walking up on these floating stairs, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. And here's the kitty. This is the kid section. Kid floor. Hey, let's go look at the kid floor a little bit. <sighs> Some kitty floor here. Oh look, chess set. Cool. We're teaching children to play chess. And today's today's tactical tip is the chess tactic. And look what's here for kids. So here in Austin, like when I was young, I learned to play chess from a very young age. That is so great. That's awesome. That's so great. I love this. I'm trying to teach my wife to play. She's right. Here. Look. You can watch. You can watch and see how he teaches her. Yeah, there you go. Your knight just killed the pawn. That's awesome. It's really good for your brain when you get older like me. Comments on the floor for the kids. Look at that. Let's go. Special collection. Breakfast taco. <laughs> Breakfast tacos are so good. Yeah. And they are definitely different here. It's we like have tons of dragonflies in Texas. Some of us believe they're fairies. Or can be fairies. Amazing faith of Texas. Here we go. The Austin Boston connection. <laughs> yeah, well, someone once said, oh, Where do you live? And I said, Austin. They thought I said Boston. Well, we have a lot of people originally from Boston and from the north. <laughs> I grew up dancing in these dance halls. And I was wondering if SPAJST is here. It's in Central Texas. It's, uh, all right, so it is here. SPJST. You see that? Page 49. Uh, 65, 49. I haven't taken Alice in there yet. I thought you said it was closed. Where? Where Europe talks Texan. So, yeah, that's it. KJT, is that right? 45? That looks familiar to me. No, that's 49. Hold on. Yeah, it's in this section, so it's on page 49. SPJSD, I remember that. That's kind of like the floor, and we have little kids there. 65 is the next page. Maybe there's a picture of it. There it is. Yeah! That's SPJST. I remember uh, dancing here. And we have like little kids. It'll be like five year old little kids with uh, dancing with a three year old little girl dancing around in here. Uh, yeah, it's still burning bright, it says, huh? We need to try to get paperweights of the connection of Alvin and Marion Bates. Nice haircut, bud. It's like mine. <laughs> Just shave it all off. So our time. Consoli Electric Motor Company. These are from the Austin History Center. <laughs> you said you like this one. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It feels good. That's an Allison shot right there. Say it. You have to claim it. I, well, it's, yeah, I thought the angle looked cool. I'm using, I'm using words like shot, like Adam Lou. Hi, Adam Lou. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. It's like puppet shows down there. We're in the middle of the, the whole library right now. Wow. Is it called a zine? They call this a Z-I-N-E, like a magazine. And we're on the next floor right now. Strangers I strayed with in California. Hey, th there's one filming me right now. You're one of the strangers that I strayed with or stayed with in California. The nonfiction floor. Nonfiction. I, I gotta whisper because this is not Creative Commons. Games for the library. Sushi. Go. Go. Texas is sushi. Found another beautiful shot from the window of the the new nonfiction oversized nonfiction books for new nonfiction. She says that you. This is where we were down there just earlier. We were down there, right by the power plant. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's where we were. That's where we were walking around. Look at that. The future of war. More on war. War in the 140 characters. The Doomsday Machine. Military Life 101. That's right. That's right. Future war. 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 That's right. Don't forget weapons of mass destruction. Tanker pilot. Journey. Sea power. That's right. There are the car manuals that we saw at front. Ford Focus. <laughs> That's right, Chilton. The lazy girl's guide to life. <laughs> now proceed to the last floor of the library. Thank you for joining us at Candid Travels, Texas. After we finish going through the last floor of the library, we can now go home and sleep well. Or paddle well on the on the river. We're gonna get him and sleep well after this. But uh, or go paddle on the boardwalk. Paddle on the thing. Here's the uh, meditation book. It's a meditation book uh, book uh, signing party here on the last floor. Experience heartfulness meditation. There he is. Okay, this is the last floor, the non-fiction floor. There's Allison. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. Hey, look at what Allison founded at the top of the library of Central Library in Austin. Pieces of poop. Pieces of poop down there. Pieces of poop down there. Right, look, right, where is that? Power plant, power plant. Thanks for joining us at Candid Travels, Texas. The Chess Tactic and Central Library of Austin episode. Adios. Hey, look at what Allison founded at the top of the library of Central Library in Austin. Pieces of poop. Pieces of poop down there. Pieces of poop down there. Right, look, right, where is that? Power plant, power plant. Thanks for joining us at Candid Travels, Texas. The Chess Tactic and uh, Central Library of Austin episode. Adios. <laughs> All right, thanks again for joining us at Candid Travels Texas for the chess tactic episode and the Austin Central Library. Adios, amigo.